I am going to make a dresser for a doll using cardboard, scrapbook paper, toothpicks or mini wooden dowels, recycled paperboard, beads, and glue. I start by measuring the floor space where I would like the dresser to fit. Record the measurements, measure the height in relation to the doll, and record that as well. For the back and top and bottom of the dresser, the sides will need to be 8 inches by 2. However, we need to add an eighth of an inch to compensate for the thickness of the cardboard. Cut cardboard according to the measurements for the top, bottom, back, and sides. Cut cardboard that is an eighth of an inch shorter than the top which will be used to separate the drawers in the dresser. Cover the cardboard with paper and I start by gluing a piece of cardboard in the center of the scrapbook paper, pressing firmly to remove any bubbles. Trim off the corners at an angle, glue the tabs at the top and bottom, then glue down the sides to neatly cover the cardboard. Begin gluing them together, starting by gluing the sides to the back, then the bottom and top to make a box. Now we need to make smaller boxes to fit inside. So I take the measurements of the inside of the box, cut the cardboard to be just a little bit smaller so that it has enough room to move with ease. Make a copy, cut more cardboard for sides. However, adding the sides will make the drawer too wide to fit inside the dresser. So I stack them together, place them on the edge of the cardboard, draw a line, and trim it off. Use the measurements of the copy for the front and back of the drawer. Then use them as patterns to cut as many as needed. Cover with paper, take the panels for the front and use a toothpick to make a hole in the center. Then begin assembling the drawers by gluing them together. Cut a toothpick, glue it into the hole on the front of the drawer, then glue on a bead to make the drawers. With all the boxes made, we can now assemble the dresser. Place the drawers inside the dresser, gluing pieces of cardboard in between, and I like to plan out all of my placement before I begin gluing. Then I remove the drawers and carefully glue the slats in place. And to make sure I have time to get them right where I want, I use a liquid glue like tacky glue. Once dried, place the drawers back in. And to finish it off, we cut and cover a slightly larger piece of cardboard, then glue it to the bottom and top to make a doll-sized piece of furniture with working drawers. I use recycled paperboard to make it smaller for our mini dolls. It can also be a jewelry box for our larger dolls. Make it larger for an 18 inch and you're done. Happy crafting! Oh yeah, I am loving this shirt. All I need is a jacket. Ah, uh, I've got nothing. Let's see what Chloe has. This is perfect! Chloe, can 
I borrow this? I just got that. I haven't even worn it yet. Well, allow me the honor of breaking it in. We want to give a shout out to H2O for life. What's up? Thanks for the jacket, Chloe. But I didn't 